If you have read your history, then you're bound to know that we have always held our own with any foe. We've always brought the bacon home, no matter what they've done. But we don't want the bacon now. We're out to get the hun. We don't want the bacon. We don't want the bacon. What we want is a beef on the rye. Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56, welcoming you back to Taste, Test, and Review Central. And today, John and I are going to be reviewing this Provident Pantry, my choice size, imitation bacon-flavored bits. This is textured vegetable protein. Now, Provident Pantry, the brand has changed to Emergency Essentials. Uh, so the uh, when you go to find this the the name and the label have changed to protect the innocent but the uh, the, the product inside remains the same So I bought this one. I've had this one for I don't know a couple of years and um, Decided we go ahead and try this now. I've tried other uh, imitation flavored bacon bits same as John um, you mostly usually the ones in the little shakers you get, you know, at the uh, supermarket, you know, the uh, the bacon bits are there. I expect, uh, at least hope, that these will be better than that, and they're certainly a much better bargain. Uh, now, nothing beats real bacon, obviously, but getting real bacon in a long-term storage uh, uh, can would be, at least for me, prohibitively expensive. So this will be good for adding to soups, uh, throwing in the, uh, the dehydrated eggs, you know, and scrambling those up, and that type of thing. And that, that's really the reason I got it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, taste these and see how they see how they compare to real bacon. See how they compare to other supermarket uh, brand bacon bits we've ever tried. So come on around, John. I'm going to go ahead and open this. It has the uh, pop top. And as you can see, hopefully, it looks like bacon bits. <laughs> Just like the ones you get at the supermarket. But hopefully these will be better. Just spoon some out here so you can see them. Hands are shaking. Yep. All right. And I found the oxygen absorber. So that's um, that's what they look like. Let's see if they smell like uh, like bacon. No, not really. To me, they just smell real smoky, like like liquid smoke. Yeah, you're right. It does. Not really like bacon, but. The main thing is, how do they taste? So, get you a little pinch. Let's try. Mmm. Yep, they taste like imitation bacon bits. Yeah, with a little smoky flavor. Very salty. Very smoky. Very crunchy. Okay, got a good flavor. Yes, it is. I think it's a better flavor than the ones at the supermarket. Yeah. Um, there's not. It's not as salty as the ones at the at the supermarket. Mm -mm. I will have to say I think they went a little overboard on the smoky flavor. Well, in my um, opinion, I like the smoke. I like a little bit of smoke, but my, I'm get I'm getting a, a very strong smoky aftertaste. The lingers kind of like anything that has artificial smoke yeah. flavor. 
But I guess that's just a matter of preference. I can see where, <clears throat> however, putting these, uh, like I think their intended purpose is, putting these on your salad, putting it in some soup, putting it in some, some eggs, especially dehydrated eggs. Uh, in fact, in the very near future here, I, I went, I bought some, some more of these size cans of some different things, including the, uh, the dehydrated eggs. Um, these, these bits, I've got some dehydrated onions and, and a few other things. And for one of our taste tests in the very near future, we're going to make an omelet. We're going to make a survival omelet using these things and, and we'll see how that works out. That sounds like a good plan. But, um, I'm going to give this a thumbs up. Also. I think they're better than the, than the, than the stuff you buy at the supermarket. And certainly a hell of a lot cheaper <laughs> in this kind of quantity. And again, so, I like the smoky, the smoky smell and the flavor. Yep. You know, I would take some and put them in some grits. Yeah, it would be good in grits. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, or cream of wheat. Um, anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I think you got it. it that's exactly. I think its intended purpose is is, in a, is as additions to things. Yeah. And while it is not bacon, it's not a bad substitute. So, and for those of you out there that are vegetarian preppers, this will fit right in with your, your food storage. So, that's about all we got to say on the uh, Provident Pantry imitation flavored bacon bits. And, um... You know, on to the next taste test, John. All right. Let's get it on. Yep, I'll have a little more of these. Mm. Pretty I, good, I, aren't they? I can live with this. 